What is up my lovelies? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We are back with something a little different. I am ready to officially share my own legacy challenge, which I named the Legacy Chronicles Challenge. And it has been inspired by so many different challenges, not so berry, family dynamics, all of the challenges really. It has inspired me to pretty much create my own. I started working on this around the same time I started my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited to share with you all. If you do happen to try this challenge, I would appreciate if you would hashtag TS4 Legacy Chronicles or simply simulate it so I could check out your gameplay. Now, this challenge is meant to act as a roadmap. So once I start to get into the rules and you know aspirations, you don't have to follow them step by step. I will be because that's just how I like to play. I like rules, I like objectives, I like goals. It's probably the teacher in me, but that's how I like to play. You Again, you don't have to follow step by step. The main goal is for you to be creative and have fun with it. I wanna put this out there to see how you all create your story and your legacy. So I'm gonna hop into generation one. So generation one, a prosperity pursuer, a determined and ambitious young Sim starts the legacy challenge as the founder. Their aspiration is fabulously wealthy and pursue a career in business to build their empire. The drive to achieve financial success stems from their desire to provide a better life for the future generation. Now, the traits I have set for this generation are ambitious, materialistic, and perfectionist. Aspiration, of course, is fabulously wealthy, and the career is business, which is any branch you can choose from. Throughout these generations, you can choose any branch in your career. I also need to mention that this is a 15th generation challenge. So you can play it as a standard 10 if you would like, but I have it set as 15. So it's really up to you how you would like to play it. Now, goals, reach the top of the business career. Marry a quote unquote rich sim, at least 20,000 simoleons. So to me, 20,000 simoleons is you making it <laughs> in the game for me. Cause I love to play a rags to riches style. I love to have my Sims grind from the bottom and make it to the top. So basically long story short, marry any Sim that you want and move their starter funds over to your household. You will again, marry this Sim and have at least four children as a adult. So no kids during young adult years because your founder is trying to build their foundation basically. I also have an additional challenge for this generation, which I've called it the Legacy House Challenge. Now, you don't have to do this, but this is a challenge for me and all of the simmers out there who are just terrified of build mode, right? I want you to challenge yourself and I want you to start with limited funds. Use a number generator. What's the point of starting with 50,000 simoleons? It's supposed to be a legacy challenge. You want your Sims to grind. So no more than I say 5,000 simoleons. So use a number generator, no more than 5,000 simoleons. See what you get. Um, you can start off with an empty 50 by 50 lot. You can use the free real estate on cheat to start as a rags to riches and live on your lot. Or you can do what I did with Sienna and just start in a raggedy San Mashuno apartment and just build your way up from there. But the end goal is to move into that legacy house. So make sure your Sim is in the household, the legacy household, I should say, no later than mid adulthood, because that's the end goal. We want this legacy house. And I'm gonna challenge myself and you all to, you know, if you are, that simmer that is terrified of building. It doesn't have to be a super huge mansion. You could just start with a two story house suburban, right? And build from there. Moving on to generation two, which is artistic ambitions. I have a hard time saying that word. So I'm sorry if I mess it up. Anyways, one of the children of the founder inherits the legacy and carries the family's aspirations forward. 
growing up surrounded by their parents' pursuit of wealth, they discover their own wealthy niche, their passion for art. The heir chooses the aspiration of painter extraordinaire to express themselves through painting and bring beauty into the world while keeping the previous generation's aspirations alive. This sim must find a partner and try for twins. So I know some of y'all games, you don't have no problem <laughs> with having twins, but just to be on the safe side, if you are following this step by step, here are some ways to increase your chances of having twins. You can use the lot trait on ley line. So that's supposed to give you a better chance of having twins and triplets, I believe. Use the fertility trait in the reward store before trying for a baby. Um, also remember any sim can become pregnant when you are in cast, just press the little box next to can this sim become pregnant and you choose yes. Um, you can also get a fertility massage if you have spa day. And I believe if you have the romantic garden pack, you can use the wishing well to wish for a baby, but I'm not sure if it helps with twins, but you could play around with that. But those are some ways that can increase your chances. The traits I have set are art lover, self-assured, loves outdoors. The career is painter. And of course the aspiration again is painter extraordinaire. Goals, complete the aspiration, fall in love with a responsible sim and become pregnant with twins from a planned pregnancy. Read to or tell stories to your children at least three times. Have and keep a small garden, paint and sell at least 12 masterpieces and complete the painter career, of course, any branch you would like. So that is generation two. Moving on to generation three, nurturing novels. Twins with contrasting personalities are the third generation of the legacy. One's twins love for gardening was nurtured by the lush gardens their mother and her father created to enhance their home. As a result, they embraced the aspiration of freelance botanists, bringing life and harmony, harmony, I'm sorry, to their legacy home. The other twin inspired by their family's creativity and stories their mother and our father always shared chooses the aspiration of best-selling author to weave tales that captivate readers and leave an everlasting impression. Okay. Now this is where I'm putting my little twist on to the legacy game. This is what I call a dual generation, meaning that you have to play the lives of both Sims, Dang. right? They need to live in the same household or the same vicinity. Let me know if this has been done before. I haven't seen it, but basically, if you play Sims with big families, you're just basically focusing on two specific heirs instead of one. So you'll just play out both lives. So I thought that was fun and even additional challenge because it's, it's kind of hard <laughs> playing the lives completely with all of your sims especially if you're playing in a household with like eight sims some somebody gonna be forgotten right <laughs> so this is what i call again the dual generation make sure you play with both sims and if you are following it step by step like me you need to complete everything for both sims right so i'm gonna get into it so twin one or two you choose which one um the traits are green fiend cheerful family oriented the aspiration is freelance botanist and the career is gardener. Goals are to create a garden with at least three rare plants, complete the aspiration, have, have a greenhouse, reach level 10 in the flower arranging skill and complete the gardener career, any branch. And an additional challenge, buy and build your own floral shop if you decide to complete the floral designer career or if you choose to go down that path, right? You can start off in the career and once you get to like level three or four, quit and build your own floral shop. So that is the goals and aspirations for twin one or two. Then the next twin, again, you get to choose which one you want to do the aspiration. So the traits are creative, bookworm, and geek. We know the aspiration is best-selling author. The career is writer. Goals, complete and publish seven best-selling books. Earn at least 80,000 simoleons and royalties. Become a three-star celebrity from selling books. Write a biography, which I believe you need writing level 10 to write your own biography. Complete any branch of the writing career and then complete the aspiration. An additional challenge, you can also write the book of life and resurrect any sim in your relationship panel. 
have your twins become best friends for life. And then you decide which twin's child will be the future heir, but both twins need to have at least one child because we, we need at least one Sim to be in the legacy house at all times, which I will talk about later in the rules section. So that is generation three. Moving on to generation four, harmony of heartstrings. This Sim is the heir of the fourth generation and carries the family's creative legacy forward. Even though this Sim is surrounded by art, nature, and even books, they discover their passion for music. Inspired by the beauty of their parents' garden and the emotions their grandparents' paintings provoke, this Sim inspires to be a talented musician. They choose the aspiration of musical genius to compose melodies that inspire the entire world, just like they were inspired by the generations before them. Goals, have at least one child from a drunken one night stand, complete the musical genius aspiration and reach level 10 in the writing and or singing skill. Additional challenge, you can master all musical skills. Perform at at least five festivals or events on a busking station, and you can place them out all over the world in any world that you like so that your sim always has somewhere to play. Receive a thousand simoleons in tips. Also, you can perform your own songs if you have a high enough writing skill. You wanna take the future heir to at least three of these performances. And then an additional challenge to this is to perform once at every festival or event if you have any and all the expansion packs. And compose and license at least 10 songs. That is generation four. Generation five, wild wonders. Spirited and adventurous, this heir inherits the legacy and seeks to explore the wonders of the world. Inspired by the lush landscapes they've captured while traveling along on their family's creative musical endeavors, they embark on a quest to live away from the urban life. They aspire to be an outdoor enthusiast to become part of nature. Traits, ongoing, adventurous, freegan. Aspiration, outdoor enthusiast. Career, they are unemployed. You make money selling items or doing odd jobs. Example, selling your herbs. You can sell food to local shops. If you have a high enough cooking skill, you can sell crops, things like that. Get creative with it. Goals, complete the outdoor enthusiast aspiration, have two children, Additional challenge to this is fall in love with the forest ranger. Live in Granite Falls. If you do not have outdoor retreat, you can choose a world that has a similar vibe. Take 10 excellent quality photos of plants or animals. Have and maintain a garden with five excellent plants. Also add the simple living trait to your household to make it a little more challenging. So that is generation five. All right, moving on to generation six, virtual ventures. Growing up surrounded by wildlife and freaking enthusiasts, this sim wants to get away from the real world. They develop a keen sense in technology and are fascinated by the infinite possibilities of AI. Because of this, they become a tech savvy sim and they choose the aspiration of computer whiz to become a successful game developer, crafting interactive experiences that blend art, adventure, and technology. The traits, genius, geek, loner, and the career is tech guru. Goals that I have set for this generation are, have only one child with a lazy sim and never marry, create three popular and successful video games with high ratings, complete the aspiration. Once you've reached level five of the tech guru career, you can either complete it or become a freelance programmer. It's up to you reach level 10 of the programming skill, and finally adopt a stray dog or cat from uh, Brindleton Bay as a companion for the future heir. So that is generation six. All right, moving on to generation seven, guardian of paws and claws. In a household with a parent always busy with programming, this heir spent most of their childhood with their pet. As a result, they develop a deep connection to animals and nature. Inspired by all the unloved strays in Brindleton Bay, they choose the aspiration friend of the animals and become a vet, working tirelessly to care for animals. The traits are cat or dog lover, proper, active, and then the career is vet. Goals, build your very own pet clinic. 
adopt, buy, or care for five different types of pets, animals, but leave room for an heir, max out the vet skill, have at least one best friend, live and find lo a love interest in Brindleton Bay, and have at least one child with them, and complete the aspiration. So there is no vet career. So if you play on PC, you can download a mod. If not, you can choose any career that you like, but the main goal is to build your own vet clinic and make money from the clinic. All right, moving on to generation eight, social symphony. Growing up in a family that values creativity, adventure, and friendship, this heir has a natural flair for socializing. Surrounded by their creative and outgoing relatives, they learn the importance of bringing others together and creating lasting memories. Inspired by the previous family legacies, they choose to become an event planner, choosing the aspiration friend of the world to organize extravagant gatherings that celebrate love, art, music, and friendship. Traits for this generation, insider, high maintenance, lazy. Career is style influencer. Goals, complete the aspiration, plan and complete 10 gold events, complete the style influencer career, any branch, become a renowned four-star celebrity from party planning or style influencing, or if you want to go the extra mile and become a five-star celebrity, that is okay with me. Become good friends with at least four influential sims and have a child as an adult with a neat sim. That is generation eight. Generation nine, homestead harmony. Growing up constantly surrounded by new and strange individuals eventually took its toll. So as soon as this sim was of age, they packed up and never looked back. Intrigued by the charm of cottage life, the ninth generation heir decides to relocate to the idyllic world of Henford on Bagley. Their aspiration is to become a country caretaker and embrace a more rustic lifestyle surrounded by animals, nature, and easygoing sims. Traits. Loves the outdoors, vegetarian, family-oriented career. They are unemployed. You can earn money off the farm by selling crops. You can sell your animals and even your food, things like that. Goals, complete the aspiration, of course. Become good friends with Agnes Crumplebottom. Harvest all crops and fruits available in Hemford on Bagley and plant them in your garden. Additional challenge is to complete three errands with the cottage living pack so you can help NPCs with different errands. So successfully complete three of those. Cook and bake only healthy and vegetarian foods. No pizza or junk food allowed. Everything is healthy or vegetarian option. Earn one gold medal from each fair. So since you live in Hemford on Bagley, those are the Finchwick fairs. At least get one gold medal from each. Become smitten with the sim, marry and have three children with them. That is generation nine. Moving on to 10, culinary craze. Having to eat off the land, quote unquote, had both its pros and cons, but over time, the thoughts of trying new and exotic foods became way too powerful. This era is captivated by the bustling world of the culinary arts. They set off on a journey to become a renowned chef, chef, blending creativity and culinary expertise to tantalize taste bud. Traits, cheerful, glutton, ambitious. Aspiration, market magnate. I'm choosing this for the challenge, but you can choose appliance whiz or you can complete both. So you need the home shelf hustle pack for this one. Career, you're unemployed. You're gonna make money from a full stall or stand. Goals, complete the aspiration or aspirations if you wanna do both. Master the cooking skill. This includes baking and gourmet skills. Record two food sales events with the drone. Gain at least 5,000 followers on social media by uploading your recordings. Start a food blog or a cooking show on the video station. Have a child with a bookworm. Additional challenges, successfully unlock the junk food lifestyle, cook a grand meal for each major holiday. So like Harvest Fest, Winter Fest, or you can make up your own holidays. So feel free to add any custom holidays you would like. And that is generation 10. Moving on to generation 11, which is scholarly sage. Coming from a family that values creativity, adventure, and social connections, this heir becomes deeply interested in expanding 
humanity's understanding of the world. They choose the aspiration of Renaissance sim and dedicate their life to academic pursuits, becoming a respected professor and researcher. So the traits I have set are loyal, bookworm, overachiever. The career could be either professor or administrator. Goals, go through university and receive a degree in education. Choose any branch in your education career. Marry as an adult and have two children out of wedlock with a young adult from the university where you teach. Publish groundbreaking research papers and present at a university class. And finally, mentor a student in any subject five times. That is generation 11. Moving on to generation 12, law and larceny. Siblings bound by blood find themselves on opposite sides of the law creating tension within the family. Each struggles with their own ethical dilemmas, leading to intriguing family dynamics. One strives for justice while the other dances on the edge of the law, adding a layer of complexity to the family's narrative. This is also a dual generation legacy, meaning you will have to play and live out the lives of both heirs. So sibling one or two, the traits are good, ambitious, perfectionist, Aspiration is successful lawyer and the career is lawyer. The goals, reach the highest level in the law career, win at least five court cases, mentor a young sim in the legal profession, establish a legal advocacy group in the community so you can start a club, and defend a wrongly accused sim successfully. The next sibling, the traits, evil kleptomaniac hot-headed. Aspiration is public enemy reach the highest level in the criminal career, be despised by at least two sims, pickpocket at least three sims, break into four properties and steal four items, fight five different sims and win. Also have the siblings develop a difficult family dynamic. You decide which sims child will be the future heir, but both siblings need to have at least one child. That is generation 12. Moving on to 13, the healing heart. Having family members that absolutely hate each other is beyond stressful. Despite that, this heir finds solace in their cousin. They become the best of friends, spending time throughout their childhood. Unfortunately, tragedy strikes when the cousin is diagnosed with an incurable disease at an early age that eventually claims their life. This loss fuels the heir's determination to pursue the doctor career, aspiring to prevent others from experiencing a similar fate. So the traits are loyal, neat, romantic, the aspiration is soulmate, and the career is doctor. Goals, max out the doctor career, diagnose and successfully treat at least 20 patients, develop strong relationships with coworkers, complete the soulmate aspiration, have and maintain a happy family, and max out the wellness scheme. That is generation 13. All right. We're almost done. <laughs> generation 14, sip and sparkle. In this generation, the air becomes fascinated with crafting delightful beverages, exploring the art of nectar making and juice fizzing. They aspire to create unique and refreshing drinks that bring joy to their family and the community. Traits, foodie, creative, outgoing, aspiration, mix master. Career, mixologist or sell items with the selling table. So you can do the mixology career if you would like, or you can just start selling things on a, a selling table or a stall. Goals, master the nectar making skill, master the juice fizzing skill. Earn 65,000 simoleons by selling nectar and juice fizz on any selling table or food stall. Host special events, as many as you like, such as Nectar Tasting Night or Fizz Frenzy, right? To attract customers. So you can create your own little special events. Give five finely aged bottles of nectar or five packs of juice fizz to anyone you like. Create two special bottles of nectar and five unique bottles of frizzy juice. So what I really want you to do is create a fun and unique name for your fizzy juice or your nectar. So that is generation 14. And finally, generation 15 is the chronicle keeper. 
The final heir of the legacy carries the weight of preserving the family's wealth, creativity, compassion, and intellectual heritage. Growing up and missed each legacy of their ancestor, this heir understands the importance of maintaining their traditions while embracing change. They take on the aspiration of mansion baron, symbolizing the commitment to preserving the family's fortune and legacy. They become an entrepreneur, ensuring the continued success and prosperity of the family for future generations. Their traits are loner, neat, art lover. In the career, you can register with the Ministry of Labor if you want to be creative and start your own business or job or find anything that you think your son will be interested in and make money from that. The main goal of this generation is to preserve the family's wealth, the reputation, and the continued success of the legacy. So no pressure. <laughs> now goals, complete the mansion bearing aspiration, never marry but have one child with your high school crush, expand the family's empire and achieve a net worth of at least 500,000 simoleons. Build a lot for potential future heirs. Donate at least 10,000 simoleons to charity and you will live in the legacy house. So this is generation 15. And with that, my lovelies, that is all 15 generations. I really quickly want to go through the rules. Now, mods and gameplay. Although I made this challenge for both PC and console players, mods that create more in-depth storylines are allowed and encouraged. This challenge, again, is just a roadmap. You can complete this challenge step-by-step step like I will be doing, or you can adapt it to your own specific playstyle. You can skip a gen that requires certain packs that you might not have, or you can get creative in that generation and add your own twist. Legacy family. Start with a single sim, the founder, who will lay the foundation of your legacy. This sim should have no pre-existing skills or relationships, so brand new sim. Each heir is allowed to move to any world of the player's choosing, except for generations 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, and 15. But make sure to have at least one sim living in the original family's home, so the legacy home, to keep it, the household alive exception again i said this at the beginning but the founder has the option of either starting off anywhere in the world but they eventually have to move into that legacy home legacy pets are optional but each gen is allowed a legacy pet which can be passed down through each generation the only generations that are required to have a pet are generation six and seven lifespan pick any lifespan of your choosing but always keep aging on some generations might require you to set the lifespan to long. So if you're doing the dual heirs, like generations three and 12, you might have to set them to long if you're following it step by step and you want to complete everything. But aging should always be on. Heir selection. Select one heir to continue the legacy. The heir must be a biological child of the previous generations. Of course, this does not include generations three and 12 because those are dual legacies or dual heir generations. Goals and aspirations can be completed in any order of your choosing. House and finances. The founder can start with a small lot or an apartment and limited funds, or you can start directly on the legacy lot. It's up to you. Money inheritance or limited funds can definitely be passed down from generation. You can choose to have each heir build their wealth through a career, business, or a hobby. Aspirations and careers. Each heir should strive to complete their aspiration and career, if you would like, related to their passion or their interest. The legacy home should always be expanded and renovated as the family grows. Each generation should contribute to its improvement, adding something new, even if they don't live there. So for an example, if you are doing culinary craze, maybe you can have your sim renovate the kitchen, right? To put its own little twist. So each generation has to go and do something a little different for the legacy house. Family skills. Each generation should develop unique skills that connect with their careers, aspirations, and or interests. Make sure to pass down at least one specific skill to the future heir or heirs, right? It could be at any level. Family heirlooms. Along with family skills, each previous heir should pass down one heirloom. It could be anything that you feel is important to the story 
and give it to the future heirs so that they can pass it down as well. Relationships and marriages. Of course, heirs need to form relationships or get married to carry on the bloodline. Spouses can bring new traits and skills to the family and make it a little more interesting, right? And of course, storytelling. You can use the pre-made storylines that I've given you in each gen or create your own narrative and backstory for each generation. You can go hard. You can go as hard as you want for the storytelling, right? This is just for people who like to play through legacies and want those goals and objectives right there so they can just like play it out. But storytelling, whatever you want to do, it's your story. Legacy name. Each generation should carry the legacy name. You can hyphenate if you like if your sim gets married. And internal conflicts. You want to give your sim conflicts as much as you want. I'm not really a drama girly, but I mean, you can't really live life without a little drama, right? So introduce internal conflicts for each generation. Give them personal challenges that they need to overcome or grow from. Um, the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod by Limpano is a great way to add conflict to your game. So like for an example, if you do generation one, an internal conflict could be that the founder is struggling with finding a balance between their ambitions for their wealth and bonding with their children, right? It's really up to you about how you wanna play through the conflicts and things like that. But yes, that is my legacy challenge. Ooh, that was a lot <laughs> to read through. If you're still here in the comments down below, I want you to type in Legacy Chronicles if you made it this far, which I do appreciate if you have. But yes, I will have the rules linked down below in the Google document. Please feel free to give me any feedback or any suggestions that you may have. Remember, this is always a work in progress. And yeah, as I always say, thank you so much for watching, supporting. Always remember to save your game. Please like and subscribe. And until the next one.